Watching that one player pull off a move so iconic, you know exactly who it is without even seeing their face. From mind-blowing dribbles to impossible flicks, these moves become a player's signature. While they might not have invented these moves, they perfected them to the point where they became synonymous with their names. Ready to see which moves made the list? Let's kick things off. Cristiano Ronaldo, the Ronaldo Chop. Cristiano Ronaldo might be known these days as a central striker with an incredible knack for scoring goals, but back in the 2000s, he was a flying winger who left fullbacks in his dust. His go-to move? The Ronaldo Chop. Nicknamed the Step Over Chop, this move involved Ronaldo dribbling down the wing, making a sudden, sharp change in direction by leaping into the air and using the inside of his right foot to slice the ball sideways. This explosive acceleration left defenders flat-footed, setting him up perfectly for a powerful shot or a dangerous cross. His supreme balance kept him on his feet, while defenders were often left sprawling. And you know, Ronaldo still has it. Johan Cruyff The Cruyff Turn Johan Cruyff was one of football's greatest minds, a true visionary who revolutionized the game with his innovative ideas. His legacy both as a player and a manager is immense, but he's perhaps best remembered for a deceptively simple yet game-changing move. The Cruyff Turn The Cruyff Turn became iconic after Cruyff's legendary performance at the 1974 World Cup. The move involves pretending to kick the ball away, but then, at the last moment, turning the foot to drag the ball in the opposite direction, usually slipping it between the attacker's own legs. It's a move so straightforward that it's almost hard to believe how effective it is. Back in the day when football was less about tricks and flair, this move was a revelation. It left defenders in dust and allowed Cruyff to glide away with ease. The simplicity of the move made it even more stunning in its effectiveness. The Cruyff turn still remains a game changer. A modern example of the Cruyff turn in action was Hal Robson Kanu's brilliant execution of the move against Belgium in Euros 2016, which led to one of the most crucial goals in Wales history even earning a nomination for the Puskas Award. Cruyff would have been proud. JJ Okocha, the Okocha step over. JJ Okocha, the man so good they named him twice, was a dribbling wizard who turned the art of beating defenders into a spectacle. His flair on the ball not only dazzled fans, but also inspired a new generation of dribblers, including the young Ronaldinho. Okocha's signature move was the Okocha step over. When he found himself in a one on one battle with a defender, he would roll the ball one way with the sole of one foot, then perform an exaggerated step over with the other leg, following the ball's path in a clever double bluff. While it might not look all that flashy, defending against the Okocha step over was a nightmare. The defender's tiny movement away from the ball was usually all Okocha needed to slip past them. The initial roll of the ball baited the defender, almost daring them to make a move. Then, with the step over, Okocha forced the defender into a challenge he couldn't win. Whether Okocha was already past them or using his body to shield the ball, the defender just couldn't get near him. This move wasn't just for show, it was incredibly effective especially when Okocha was trying to get past the fullback and deliver a dangerous cross or cut the ball back for an easy finish. Lionel Messi Body Feint Lionel Messi's signature move is a true lesson in the art of deception. With a simple drop of his shoulder, Messi paints a turn in one direction. But here's the trick. While everyone's expecting him to go that way, he subtly uses his other foot to drag the ball in the opposite direction and accelerates away. There are two main elements that set Messi's feints apart. First is his explosive acceleration. He can go from a standstill to full sprint with the ball in an instant. Second is his phenomenal ball control, which keeps the ball glued to his foot in virtually every situation. This close control allows him to execute body feints with precision and timing. On May 6, 2015, Lionel Messi scored one of the greatest goals of his career, leaving Jerome Boateng reeling so dramatically that it looked like he nearly broke his back. That incredible skill also inspired a flood of memes that Boateng will never live down. Watching Messi in action is almost magical. As he glides past defenders with his body feints, football transforms into a work of art. His approach is beautifully simple. He locks eyes with the defender, feints one way and is gone in the opposite direction in a heartbeat. It's this combination of explosive speed and impeccable control that makes Messi's dribbling not just effective, but utterly mesmerizing. Zindin Zidane, the roulette. 
Zinedine Zidane was the embodiment of elegance on the football field, and his signature move, the roulette, showcased his grace and skill perfectly. With the ball snugly close to his feet, Zidane would drag it back with one foot and then spin 360 degrees while flicking the ball with the other foot to keep it under control. The roulette wasn't just a visual treat, it was a masterstroke in escaping tight spots and creating space in a crowded midfield. The mesmerizing spin allowed Zidane to slip away from defenders and maintain possession, proving that style and substance can go hand in hand. Antonin Panenka, the Panenka. In the 1976 UEFA European Championship final, Czechoslovakia and West Germany are deadlocked at 2-2 after 120 minutes, heading to a penalty shootout. Ulrich Honus misses his penalty, handing Antonin Panenka the chance to win it all for Czechoslovakia. Under immense pressure, Panenka stays cool and executes a daring chip down the middle, while German goalkeeper Sepp Meyer dives the other way. This audacious move never seen before stunned fans and has since become synonymous with Panenka's name. Though many today might not know Panenka himself, his penalty technique is famous for its elegance and risk. The Panenka relies on the goalkeeper diving one way, leaving the middle open. While penalties down the middle aren't new, Panenka's version was revolutionary. It's both beautiful and risky, as missing it can be incredibly embarrassing. For example, Sergio Aguero's Panenka attempt against Chelsea in 2021 was saved easily by Eduard Mendy, and Chelsea won 2-1 costing Manchester City the Premier League title. Conversely, Andrea Perlo's Panenka in the 2012 shootout against England was a masterpiece of composure. His chip left Joe Hart humiliated and helped Italy secure victory after England missed their next two penalties. Panenka's move remains one of football's most stylish and impactful techniques. Mesut Ozil, Ozil bounce. Mesut Ozil brought a fresh twist to kicking the ball with his signature move, the Ozil bounce. After Olivier Giroud showcased this technique at the World Cup, Ozil himself tweeted about it, highlighting his role in inventing this clever method. Instead of striking the middle of the ball, Ozil kicks it into the ground with the side of his foot. What seems like a routine pass or kick actually makes the ball bounce unpredictably into the air, catching defenders and goalkeepers off guard and giving them no time to react. The Ozil bounce is especially deadly in one-on-one -on -one situations. Take his stunning goal against Liverpool, where Simon Mignolet expected a straightforward side foot shot and dug to the ground. Instead, the ball bounced slowly over him, leaving the Belgian goalkeeper helpless. It's also an excellent tool for passing. Depending on the force applied, the ball can get significant airtime or just a slight bounce, making it versatile for various scenarios. Mastering the Ozil bounce requires precision and control. But since Ozil introduced it, the technique has gained popularity. Notably, Angel Di Maria used it to score in the World Cup final against France, proving its impact on the game. Ronaldinho, the Elastico. Ronaldinho was a master of joyful skill, and his Elastico move was the perfect example. The Elastico involves pushing the ball out wide with the outside of your foot, then quickly pulling it back with the inside of the same foot. This slick trick confused defenders and let Ronaldinho burst past them with ease. Although Sergio Achigo, a Japanese-Brazilian, first invented the Elastico and Rivellino showed it off during the 1970 World Cup final, Ronaldinho made it famous. He used the Elastico to baffle countless opponents, making it his signature move. Even Portuguese defenders in Nike ads couldn't escape its magic. Ricardo Quaresma, the Trevela. Ricardo Quaresma was famous for his daring tricks, and his signature move, the Trevela, was a perfect showcase of his flair. The Trevela involves striking the ball with the outside of the foot from a wide position. This technique lets Quaresma generate incredible power and swerve on his crosses and shots. The result? Goalkeepers often find themselves caught off guard by the unexpected curve and speed of Quaresma's deliveries. The Trevela is a trademark of Quaresma's skill and creativity, making it one of the most exciting moves to watch in football. Anthony, the Anthony spin. Anthony, who made headlines with his big money move to Manchester United from Ajax, is known for his flashy style. His so-called signature move, the Anthony spin, involves him collecting the ball, controlling it with his left foot, and then spinning 720 degrees on the spot. While it might look impressive, the move often gets criticized for being more about show than substance. Despite the hype, it rarely changes the outcome of a play. So let's get serious with number 10 on our list. Arjun Robin. Robin's cut inside, 
Arjun Robin might not have been the flashiest player on the pitch, but his effectiveness was undeniable. His signature move was simple yet devastating, receive the ball wide on the right flank, cut inside onto his favored left foot and unleash a powerful shot toward the far corner. Goalkeepers dreaded seeing him in this position, knowing full well the danger he posed. Defenders knew what he was going to do, but they just couldn't stop him. It's a bit like Bruce Lee once said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I do fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. As a youngster, Robin was given a nickname he truly hated, Man of Glass, due to his injury problems. Despite the criticism, he went on to become one of the best players of his generation. A Bayern Munich legend, Robin racked up eight Bundesliga titles and a Champions League trophy at the Allianz Arena. Over his career, he scored 209 goals in 614 games for his clubs and found the net 37 times for the Netherlands. And that's it. Let us know in the comments which football move you think is the greatest or if we missed any of your favorites. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next awesome content. See you in the next one.